The Messerschmitt 163 Comet was one of the most radical interceptor fighters of the war and has the distinction of being the only aircraft solely propelled by a rocket to have seen combat other than in the kamikaze role. During the 1920s and 30s, Dr. Alexander Lippisch of the German Glider Research Institute produced a number of flying wing designs, one of which was adapted for flight trials fitted with a Walter liquid propellant rocket motor. The experiments were so successful that he was given his own design bureau at Messerschmitt in January 1939 with instructions to develop a rocket-propelled interceptor. His team planned the new fighter around a Valta engine fueled principally by hydrogen peroxide, methyl alcohol and water, which delivered a thrust of 1,653 pounds. The engine, unfortunately, was a constant source of problems, not the least of which was a fuel leak, which could literally dissolve the unlucky pilot as though in an acid bath. The fuel was also highly volatile, and any residue could explode on a hard landing. The diminutive delta-winged Messerschmitt 163 only saw service in limited numbers, but was highly effective. Taking off on a two-wheeled dolly, it could accelerate to nearly 600 miles an hour at 30,000 feet before its fuel was exhausted. Operationally, the aircraft would normally make one powered attack on an Allied bomber with its armament of two 30mm cannon, then bleed off its residual speed in gliding passes before landing at nearly 140 miles an hour on its single skid. Despite the fact that some 400 Messerschmitt 163s were built, they only scored seven definite kills between their operational debut in August 1944 and the end of the war in May 1945. Thus, despite their early lead, the Axis fighters finally lost to superior Allied design. Massed production, particularly in the USA, ultimately swamped the German and the Japanese air defences by their sheer numbers.